Hello everyone and welcome to this Gate.io tutorial. In this video I will show you, step by step, the easiest way to buy SafeMoon. So, the first thing you need to do to buy cryptocurrencies on this platform is to deposit money on your account. If you don't know how this works, I will show you how to do this right now. How to deposit money on Gate.io In contrast to Binance and most other exchanges, you can deposit via it directly into Gate.io. That's why you need to have at least one wallet that's not located on this exchange. I myself do have a Binance account, which I will be using in this video. But what I'm about to show you will also work if you have an account at Coinbase or basically any other exchange. So, what you need to do is to go over to the other exchange. For me that will be Binance. Now you need to look for a button called Withdrawal. In most cases, this button is located below the Wallet section. If you are using Binance, you need to go over to Wallet and then click Fire it and Spot. As you can see, right here we can do deposits and withdrawals. Once you have clicked on the fight and spot page, you will be sent over to a page looking like this. In the top right, you can see the withdrawal button. So, click on withdraw. You will now be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. The first thing you need to do is to select the coin you want to transfer to gate.io. You can select a coin by clicking right here. Then this coin selector will pop up. Right here you can scroll through your holdings or you could search for a specific coin by using the search bar. I will search for Algo and to select your coin, just click on it. So, now that you have selected the coin you want to transfer, the next thing Binance asks you to do is to fill in the address you want to send your coins to. If you don't know how to find your address at gate.io, I will show you how to find it right now. Go over to gate.io and then go over to Wallet and click on the button called Deposit. On this page, you need to select the coin you want to deposit. So, if you're transferring Ethereum, you need to go over to the search bar and search Ethereum. If you are about to transfer a coin like Bitcoin or Ethereum, I would recommend to trade your holdings into Algo, since by doing so you will pay a way less transaction fee. But since I'm transferring Algo, I will go over to Algo and click on copy. Always double check if the address you have selected belongs to the right coin, because if you send a coin to the wrong address, you will lose all the funds you're transferring. For example, if you're transferring Bitcoin but you accidentally sent it to your Ethereum address, you will lose all the Bitcoin you're transferring. If you double check your address, go back to Binance or whichever exchange you're using. Now you need to copy paste your address in here. If you're transferring Algo, the network will instantly be selected. If you're not using Algo and you don't know which network supports your coin, you could do a quick Google search. The last thing you need to do is to fill in the amount you want to withdraw. Once you've filled in all the information, click on withdraw. There will be a pop-up looking similar to this one. Read through all the information to make sure you haven't made any mistakes. Once you double checked all the information, click on continue. Now all you need to do is to go through the verification process. I filled in everything I need to fill in and now you need to click on submit. How long you need to wait for your transfer to come through depends on which coin you transferred. Alright, so now that you've got money on this platform, the next thing you need to do is to go over to markets and trade whichever coin you just transferred to gate.io into USDT. Since with USDT you can buy close to every single coin on this platform. I just transferred some Algo to this platform, so I will go over to Algo and then select the Algo USDT pair. It's quite important to understand what you're looking at right now. Right here you can see the price your pair is currently trading for. To the right of the current price you can see the percentage Algo changed relative to USDT over the past 24 hours. Next to the price change, you can see the 24 hour high and low your pair has been traded for. But this is what really is important for us right now. It's where we can buy and sell our coins. So right here you need to fill in the amount of USDT you are willing to pay for one Algo coin. Below the price, you need to fill in the amount of Algo coins you want to buy. At the bottom of this page, you will see the total amount of USDT you will be spending on your order. But I don't want to buy more Algo, I want to sell my Algo holdings into USDT. So, go over to Sell Algo. Right here you can see your balance. My balance right now is 65.99 Algo. The obtainable amount is the price I would achieve if I was to sell all my Algo holdings into USDT at the current market price. At price, you need to fill in the amount of USDT you want to achieve in the return for one Algo. Below the price, you need to fill in the amount of Algo you want to sell. Of course, you could also use the percentage clicker. You can choose between 25, 50, 75 and 100% of your holdings. Below the percentage clicker you will see the total amount you will achieve if your order comes through. If you click on the sell button, this pop up saying please confirm sell order will pop up. Just click on confirm order. Then you will need to type in your fund password. If you have filled in your fund password, just click on submit. 
As you can see, my order came through instantly. That's because I was willing to sell my coins for a price that's lower than the current price. If your order hasn't been fulfilled instantly, it's likely that the price per coin you filled in is higher than the price your pair is currently trading for. The last thing I will do in this video is to show you how to buy Save Moon. To buy Save Moon, you need to go over to Market. Then go over to the search bar and search for Save Moon. You can type in the full name of the coin as well as the ticker symbol. Now all that's left to do is to place a buy order. Below buy Save Moon, you will see your balance and the obtainable amount of Save Moon. Your balance displays the amount of USDT or Ethereum that you've got in your wallet. The obtainable amount is the amount of coins you would get if you were to spend all of your balance to buy Save Moon at the current market price. At price, fill in the price you are willing to pay per coin. At amount, fill in the number of coins you want to buy. You could also use the percentage clicker to easily select the percentage of your available balance. Below the percentage clicker, you will see the total amount you will be spending on your order. If you double checked all the information, click on buy. Then this please confirm buy order will pop up. So click on confirm. If the price you are willing to pay per coin is higher than the price your pair is currently trading for, it's likely that your order will instantly come through. If your order didn't come through, it's likely that the price you are willing to pay per coin is lower than the current market price. If this video was helpful, let me know by dropping a like or leaving me a comment. Of course, you could also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.